Hello, hello, my friends. Welcome to another amazing read. Go grab your stuff and let's do this. <laughs> Today's read is called Grumpy Monkey Up All Night. And it's written by Susan Lang. And the illustrations are by Max Lang. Grumpy Monkey Up All Night. Early in the evening, just about supper time, Norman heard a whole lot of whooping and hollering next door. What's the ruckus? Norman asked his neighbor, Jim Penzi. I'm so excited, Jim exclaimed. I'm going to a sleepover at my parents' house. My whole family will be there. Mom, Dad, and my big sisters, Anne and Nan. Who's that? Asked Norman. Oh yeah, my little brother Tim, grumbled Jim. But never mind. It'll still be fun. Sleepovers are a good time. Norman agreed. Jim talked about all the great things he would do. First, we'll go termite fishing. Next, we'll tell scary stories. Then, we'll have a midnight feast and wash it down with some jungle punch. <laughs> I wouldn't drink punch too close to bedtime, Norman advised. Bedtime? Nobody sleeps at a sleepover. We're going to stay up all night. Sounds fun, says Norman. Mind if I tag along? A little later, they arrived at the tree where Jim's parents lived. It's my little grumpy monkey. I'm so happy to see you. Jim's mom cried as she gave him a hug. Mom, I'm not little and I'm not a monkey. I'm an ape. Moaned Jim. Jim's mom smiled and ruffled his fur. But you sure are grumpy, she said. No, I'm not. Jim scowled. I like your mom, said Norman. No fear. You didn't say we could bring a friend, said a voice coming down the path. Who's that? asked Norman. Team, exclaimed Jim's family. Uh, I thought you said he was your little brother, said Norman. I had a growth spurt, said Tim. What should we do first? asked Jim's mom. Everyone answered at once. Termite fishing! Pick fleas off each other! Bob for mangoes! I know, said Tim. Measure each other to see who's tallest! Maybe our guests shall choose, suggested Jim's dad, turning to Norman. It's a tough decision. It all sounds fun, said Norman. Don't worry, said Anne. There'll be plenty of time to do everything because we're going to stay up all night. <laughs> Cheered Jim and his siblings. I don't know, said Jim's mom. Staying up all night could make for some very grumpy monkeys. And then the games began. Termite fishing, flea picking, bobbing for mangoes, scary stories. It was a dark and stormy night, said Jim. Tim trembled. Your brother's scared. Why not tell a happy story instead, said Jim's mom. Midnight fizz. Hey! You have to share the jungle punch. But you didn't share the bananas. Stay up all night. It's really dark, said Tim, looking around. Because it's night, snapped Jim. Are you grumpy? asked Tim. No, 
said Jim. Just then they heard a noise. Roar! Thunder! shouted Tim, and his eyes went wide. Oh no, now it's dark and stormy. Shoo. Don't worry, said Jim. It's just Norman snoring. He does lots of funny snores. Sometimes it sounds like ra 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 ra, and sometimes it sounds like Tim <laughs> laughed. Other times it's like ha ha. Jim and Tim laughed and laughed all night long. <laughs> As the sun came up, Tim fell asleep. Good idea, little brother said Jim as he tucked Tim in and lay down. But just as he was about to close his eyes, Good morning, my monkeys, sang Jim's mom. Mom, we're not monkeys, we're apes, shouted Jim. I prefer gorilla, but yeah, ape works, said Norman. Oh, Jim, I told you staying up all night will make you grumpy, said Jim's mom, ruffling his fur. I'm not. <laughs> You'll always be my grumpy monkey, whispered Jim's mom. The end. Grumpy monkey up all night. Don't stay up all night, my friend. Like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Until the next time, it's amazing. You, you're so amazing. And keep on reading.